The Pu Insider article states that the Netflix contract is effective beginning in January 2025. A number of WWE Network customers in various countries were notified via email that the service will be discontinued. Rather, Netflix will assume the role of the company's global headquarters. They would also be airing select programming, including vintage PLEs, according to the message. John Cena, Roman Reigns, CM Punk, Cody Rhodes, Bianca Belair, and a slew of other wrestlers will be featured on the first episode of Raw on Netflix, which they also promoted. The network, which debuted in 2014, will now conclude at the end of 2024 and enter 2025, marking the end of an era for the corporation. There will be no interruption to the network in regions where the corporation has its own television contract. But when the TV arrangement expires, Netflix will seize control of the broadcast rights. Company officials will sunset the network, according to the report's last paragraph. This marks the conclusion of a significant chapter in the company's history as the network era has come to an end. With Triple H at the helm as creative director, the organization is entering a new era. Even though professional wrestling has always been an ever-evolving spectacle, every once in a while, the business experiences a seismic upheaval that causes waves to spread. In a move that has been building anticipation for the next chapter for both the corporation and its worldwide following, sports entertainment behemoth WWE has declared the end of an era that has lasted 11 years. Speculation has it that this huge change will bring about a new era of WWE, one that is full of possibility and uncertainty. A decade of dominance coming to a close. During the last 11 years, WWE has entered a new age marked by marquee superstars, innovative storytelling, and an improvement in production quality. During this time, notable figures like Becky Lynch, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, and Charlotte Flair helped raise WWE's prominence in the entertainment and media industries. The WWE Network, which changed the way wrestling fans watched the sport, was another groundbreaking invention of the time. Fans have dubbed this time period the PG era, or the network era, but according to sources, WWE is officially leaving this realm and entering new, unknown terrain. Many things have come together to cause this choice. The corporation wants to remain relevant in the ever-changing entertainment industry changing customer patterns and the demographics of their audience are all contributing considerations. Motivating elements for the shift 1. Changing fan profiles A major factor in WWE's decision to change its strategy is the changing demographics of its fan base. The studio's PG-rated work is an indication of its recent attempts to reach a younger, more family-friendly audience but the numbers reveal that the main demographic has become older, with Gen Z and Millennials taking the lead in terms of watching. These audiences want more daring plots, more likable characters, and more interactive content on digital platforms. 2. The threat of rival ads. Independent organizations like All Elite Wrestling, AEW, have been on the rise recently, giving WWE a run for its money. For wrestling fans looking for something different from WWE's polished product, AEW's new, gritty style has been a huge draw. Due to intense competition, WWE has had to reevaluate its artistic strategy and presentation. 3. Changing Management Over the last several years, WWE's business environment has changed drastically. Vince McMahon's departure from day-to-day -day operations and the rise of creative heavyweights like Triple H, Paul Levesque, have caused a paradigm change inside the organization. The leadership of Triple H has received praise for the increased emphasis on wrestling that he brought to NXT. 4. Merging the Endeavors With the recent merger of WWE and Endeavor Group, which became TKO Group Holdings, New concepts and initiatives have been introduced. WW may take a page out of Endeavor's playbook by combining elements of both sports realism and entertainment spectacle in their hybrid approach, 
similar to UFC. Some have speculated that WWE would switch to a TV-14 format and drop the PG classification altogether. This shift would pave the way for more controversial programming, reminiscent of the legendary Attitude Era of the 90s. Longtime critics of the company's sanitization practices may find their interest rekindled by such a move. 2. Program Redesign It has been speculated that SmackDown and Monday Night Raw, two flagship programs, would be getting major makeovers. Updated visuals, production methods, and maybe even commentary teams will bring the presentation style up to current and in line with the expanding goal, so fans should anticipate that. Thirdly, brand new talent programs. This period is coming to a close at the same time as WWE is recommitting itself to finding and nurturing new talent. Through its nil, name, image, and likeness initiative, the firm has been actively recruiting athletes, influencers, and college athletes with the potential to become future superstars. 4. Expanding Across Borders The influence of WWE throughout the world is only going to increase. The organization is increasing its focus on global markets with events such as Crown Jewel in Saudi Arabia and Superstar Spectacle in India. More regional marketing, talent exchanges, and locally adapted performances might be part of future expansions. 5. Unrestricted expression for A-listers. Giving celebrities more agency over their characters and plots is becoming more of a priority under the current administration. Artists whose genuine selves have connected with fans like Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, and L.A. Knight have already found success with this strategy. A mix of devotion and memories from fans. Fans' reactions to the news have been all over the map. A lot of people are looking forward to the possibility of more daring shows and fresh narratives returning. Many fans still hold out hope that WWE may return to its glory days, fueled by nostalgia for the Attitude Era and Ruthless Aggression Era. However, there are other supporters who are worried about the potential dangers. WWE's enormous popularity and corporate sponsorships are results of its family-friendly approach. Departing from this approach may cause some viewers to lose interest and put profitable collaborations at risk. Many famous people in WWE, both present and past, have spoken out against the changes. Change is inevitable in this business, said Roman Reigns who has been WWE's unchallenged face for the last several years, in an interview. The most important thing is that we never stop challenging ourselves and provide our followers with unforgettable experiences. Optimism on WWE's adaptability has been voiced by veterans like As Edge and John Cena. The connection with the fans is what makes it special. The ability to reinvent itself, Cena said of WWE. In the next months, WWE fans can anticipate a number of significant changes as the company enters this new era. Dramatic shifts in plot. Rivals and allies may form when long-running plots, such as the Bloodline Saga, approach their finale. For the sake of creating hype and attracting new viewers, WWE may try out contentious or experimental tales. To fill in the gaps between periods and increase viewership, the corporation is likely to bring back fan-favorite superstars. Legends like CM Punk, The Rock, and others have rumored comebacks in the works. Augmented reality, social media engagement, and immersive fan experiences are just a few examples of how technology is becoming increasingly integrated.